Tyre and Ciri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Bellum's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Oh, I wonder why we got that introduction. Hey, everyone. Eh, of course it's a storm. Oh, right, we were talking with Roach. Welcome back to some Let's Play The Witcher 3. <coughs> in the last episode, what do we do? We explored more of Novigrad. We did a bit of torturing with uh, Triss. I felt bad for the gentleman, but at least he lived. He won't remember very much, probably at least what he used to do. But hopefully not all of his memories were, were wiped. We came out here because the information we had, well, I guess led us out here to Roach, I think. And we uh, we talked to him, Vess and him seemed to be ha having a disagreement of some sort, how he do with the survivors and what they should be doing to, in the resistance. And Roach just ran off before we could challenge him to a game of Gwent, which is what I was interested in doing. So, uh, right, so now we're going to chase after him. I think we're out here somewhere near Oxenford, as... That is a... Wraith. I don't need to kill her. She can haunt this farmland at the moment. How's everyone doing? I've had a very exciting past several weeks. We uh, were in the hospital for a week. Um, we can talk about that later, if we talk about it in this episode. We will see. I've been playing lots of other games, so we'll talk about some of that as well. Oops, sorry about that. Faster. And we're just now, hopefully, wow. Other Roach ran really far. <laughs> he must have sprinted all the way there. I guess NPCs don't have any, uh, any stamina that they have to worry about. They can just go on forever. Yeah, so today you better begin talking. Well, I think we're getting close to him. So once we're done with this, whatever this is, then we can talk about some of the games I'm playing, talk about uh, what happened to me, what was that, incapacitated for a little bit, and so on and so forth. First, first we talk to Roach, and this is the bridge. He should be right up here somewhere. Okay, probably on the other side. There he is. I can see him on the upper left. Well, ahead you left. to defend your mother. Kill your motherland's enemies, die for your motherland, and soak in the fucking rain for your motherland. <laughs> hey, Roach. Take, Take it easy. Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Chess club? Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. Come on. Yep, he wants to. He wants to get to get there quickly. I bet you if I jog, he'll try sprinting. Okay, this is acceptable. Well, there's a lot of guards out here. Something's not right. Let's see what. Oh, this is King Radovid, I, I believe. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher. Do you know why I play chess?
I doubt it's for any of these things. He also cheated. He took two turns to get rid of both of those bishops, it looks like to me. So I have no clue why he plays chess. I have no idea. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Nope. He sounds insane. No, I don't. <laughs> you do not because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. A king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? That makes a lot more sense than the first thing he was saying. It is about sacrificing ga and gambits. If you don't have to sacrifice a piece, though, you don't try to do that. But sometimes you need the position. I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. I appreciate the gesture, Your Majesty. A king should be severe towards his foes, generous to his friends. Apart from which, I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. <coughs> we must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness, as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. We'll deal with the witches, then we'll think for you. All right, why don't we summon our other roach and get out of here? Uh, I see they don't like they don't like my presence here whatsoever. Sorry about this, of course. All right, everyone. Wow, so we met Radovid himself was behind this, which I guess we knew already that uh, Horson Jr. was working for Radovid, so that's that's not a surprise. Now we just need to figure out where. Horson Jr. is located somewhere in Oxenfurt. It shouldn't be too difficult to find him, I think. Oxenfurt's nowhere near the size of Novograd. Plus, we got this nice little white dotted trail to bring us right to him. Let's actually leave our route somewhere. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who are you talking about? <clears throat> Alright. First, let's make sure that we've got enough oil on our weapon. And no 
I'm happy with all of my consumables. Oh, Geralt has a uh, honor in the fatherland. Has a pants problem. Just one second, everyone. Got to take all, take that off. There we go. Crisis averted. Thank goodness. All right, it's 6.30 in the morning. I think we want to go see Triss after this is done. So we have time oh, to do so. As I look over and realize that all of my books are hiding the clock. Ah, a customer. Hello, sir. I would like to craft some. Oh, we can play him in Gwent. We should probably do that as well. Show me what you got on offer. We might as well repair... While we're here, I have a hunch we're going to be doing a bit of combat. And do I have... I have nothing to sell him. Uh, I don't... Actually, we do have something to sell him. We don't need those. I don't need chances to stagger. I'll never use them. I prefer poisoning. I don't think I need these either. I don't care about 3% sign intensity. selling anything I'm interested in. A level 11 sword, which I don't need. He's selling various bolts, but I don't really need those either. He's got a text message. Who is this? My friend Chris is coming today. One second, everyone. Okay, so... There's nothing else I think I need. Let's let's play in Gwent really quick. What would you say to a little game of Gwent? <laughs> the little guilty smile. And we still can't use Emir Van Imres. I still need more Northern Realms cards, so we will stick with this deck. Master, clear weather decoy, two siege experts. This is pretty good, actually. But the only thing I can think of is let's discard one of our siege experts. We picked up another one. We'll discard that one. Fog. Okay, that sucked. Should have held the siege expert. A griffin to start. Hello, Mr. Griffin. Let's play our blue stripes. Oh, and he's using a monster deck, Tim. So he's gonna get to keep a card on the board, so you need to make him use more than just one card. Oof. I have nothing that can counteract that, so we've already lost this round. I just wanna use one more card to make him use another, too. <clears throat> Let's play the Fog. I don't think monsters have very many range attacks. This could make us use a card, make him maybe use another. He's passing his turn. I'd have to play three cards to take the round. <coughs> this would be 14, that's still at least 12 less. Four less, no, that's way too many to take the round. I think we'll just use our decoy. So he used only two cards there. That sucks for me. This means I have to go all in this round, most likely. He's passed. Why would you do that? That seems like a real waste to me. Oh, well, he does have a card out there that's worth four points. I have to play something higher than that. 
Kira can come out and then we'll win. But still get to keep this card on the board. And then we will draw another card. That's actually really useful. Because I don't really have a whole lot of melee cards anymore. Just one, actually. Oh, uh, well, I do have uh, the king. That will be fine. Buffing his rear rank. Interesting. I'm gonna wait to play my clear weather for one more round, I think. Wow, this is a real pain in the butt. If I play this and please another torrential rain, that's going to be a real pain. Weather effects left. Let's clear these. We have no choice but to play Kira Mertz. She's the only card left that we can play. Another commander's horn. <clears throat> we have to hope that he doesn't have a clear weather. That's the only thing that he that he could have that could ruin this. Hey, we'll still win. Awesome. That was very tricky. We earned 10 bucks. And Ida Emin Epsinve. Let's see what on earth that card is. Sounds like it's going to be a Nifgard card? No. Is it a monster? No. <laughs> Squoy as hell. <laughs> oh, can we actually use this now? Yes, we can. We can finally use a our Squoy tail deck. Interesting. I don't think it's really effective, though. We don't have a good deal of the cards that give me more cards. Like, we don't have any additional Dwarven Skirmishers, or Elven Skirmishers, for that matter. So this is still extremely weak. We can add to Clear Weather, and do we have any Siege? No Siege cards. We can add a single Torrential Rain. Do we have any... I don't think we have any decoys in this stack. Let's add a decoy and a commander's horn as well. And I'm looking for more of these guys with this with the symbol on them. But good to know we can finally use another deck if it comes down to it. Alright, so we're after whatchamacallit? Um Horson Jr. So what games are you playing, Tim, these days? It's been almost a month since you last uploaded a video for The Witcher 3. I think I uploaded the last one, like, November 29th or something like that. And I recorded that video October... I'm oh, sorry, October 29th. And I uploaded it... I recorded it October 23rd. 
So, I'm playing, in fact, I just beat Convoy. Uh, Convoy's a game I, I uploaded, like, I think two or three videos of it um, on my channel uh, some time ago. It's uh, Graphically, it looks a little bit like Faster Than Light, but it doesn't play very much like Faster Than Light. It's a real-time strategy game. You're playing, it, like, you're playing a, um, a group of vehicles who are out tra traversing this wasteland looking for supplies, certain quest items, to repair your giant uh, spaceship. And it plays like a Mad Max, in a, I guess, in a way. Well, I'm sorry, it doesn't play like a Mad Max video game, because I've never played that game before. But you control all, all these vehicles, anywhere from uh, one to five of them. And your objective is to fight other enemy squadrons when they show up. I beat the game on easy. The game's actually really flipping difficult when it comes to the combat. I'm not very good at it. It's a lot of RNG to it, and it's a roguelike as well. Give me a second. Let's talk to these guys. Eh, uh, I could do with a little fleshy diversion myself. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards. Oh, we got the keys. Blizzard in effect. Oh god, nice. Good kill, Geralt. Is that it? No, we have more of them. was awesome. Didn't take any damage either. I think I took one hit from that. <coughs> Still got it. But whatever it is. We should totally have drank a decoction. Let's see. I don't think we need the werewolf. We will drink a fork tail while we're here. That rewards us for mixing up my attacks, which I like doing anyway. Very thematic. We get someone's apple. That's delicious. You know, I shouldn't mock the fact that we get food from these guys, considering how expensive food is in this world. Like, it is it is horrifically expensive to buy food. Chicken, like, three chicken sandwiches is like 45, 45 crowns. That is, that is ridiculous, considering a sword costs 10. Well, I guess priorities. People need to eat. Not everyone needs a sword. All right, so somewhere in here is Mr. Horson Jr. Let's figure out if we, can, if we can find out where he's located. And still raining, still raining. Yeah, so Convoy, so Convoy was, is lots of fun. I, I did find it, well, should I, we should probably temper that, oh, that statement a little bit. It is, I find it fun on easy. Normal, I run out of supplies way too quickly and don't know what to do. Um, you do also, you have to like the combat in the game because you will be farming in that game. You'll be picking a spot, just driving around, killing anything that shows up. Is there going to be any other enemies in here? Yes, there is. Pick another blizzard. Keep it together! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
I think here's a little too easy. I haven't played the game in so long. Then again, we are much higher level than these things. These things are level 12. These things, these people are level 12. Looking for a way down or a way up, I suppose. Mr. Horse and Junior's probably hiding somewhere. Fucking degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Oh my god, wow. He's gonna pay anyway. Poor girls, they don't deserve this. Well, I guess maybe he had his men with him, so they just, uh, hinder. Is this? No, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Junior, I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. Flattery? 
A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. I can't leave Doodoo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Doodoo? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. I forgot that will be sometimes used scary. <sighs> Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. This would be very dangerous in the rain. I know a few churches that have this, these types of tiles. Sounds amazing. Also, it would be really annoying to sleep in a place like this. It's raining outside. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Fucking kill you, cat! I've got you, you little whore. Where's Ruvin's treasure? Each time Siri uses your special powers, her energy declines. Some energy is destroyed each time you attack a foe. You will regain access to your special abilities once your energy is... Oh! So now we have to actually, um... I got you, you little whore. Where's Ruvin's treasure? Oh, she can't parry. I got you, you little whore. Where's Ruby's treasure? Yeah. I'll get you, you little whore. And she no longer regenerates her life either, so this became a Where's lot tougher. Where's Ruby's treasure? Yeah. I'll get you, you little whore. Where's Ruby's treasure? They're coming! Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Oh, 
Oh, I'm still hurt. Wow. Oh, God. Grab the cut. <laughs> well, this is a lot tougher for Siri. I don't have any potions, don't have any oils. Uh, I don't recover my life automatically, and my dodging requires energy, and my enemy can parry all, uh, block all my attacks and counterattack. Well, I can't counterattack. This is going to make this really difficult. Uh, no, game. How about you don't start me here with the just one life? You can take Where's one hit, uh, and that's it. No, I don't, I don't think so. Tilly that's too funny, game. Mansion. Why would you do this? At, finding the lost and the missing. Guide oh, at least you get the autosave. It's not the best autosave, but at least you get one. I'm gonna the make the assumption the that this will be a little night. better. Geralt now knew that to find Siri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Ooh, what's, what, what was that? What? On your knees, bitch! I got you, you little whore. Where's Ruvid's treasure? I got you, you little whore. Oh, come on, Tim. Where's Ruvid's treasure? Yeah. I got you. Nope. Might as well just reload it again. This is we're taking way too much damage here. You can't skip that cutscene. That's really annoying as well, game. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. I think the game tried to hint that I had that ability earlier. Where's Ruvig's treasure? Got you, you little whore. Where's Ruvig's treasure? Fucking kill you, I got you, you little whore. An eye for an eye. Oh, it. Grab the cut. Okay, oh thank god. Alright, we, we did it. We did it. And apparently, <laughs> our life does regenerate again. I guess we've died so many times the game's just letting that happen. Alright, thank you game. <coughs> <coughs> thank you game very much. Wait, can we search that? Oh. There's nothing that to take. Have to kill these people. It's difficult to do your Q given that they charge. Okay, we can get behind him with the. Uh, Actually, we can just use this. I guess maybe we could also just charge down and flee this entire area, but I, th I think we'll have to fight our way out. Okay, let's see, can we drag any of them up here?
Yes, we can. We can at least get one of them up here, I think. Oh, I see. The Q uses our energy. The dodge, we can use that as many times as we want, apparently. One of our items is in, bad, is in bad shape. We should totally repair it. But I don't have an inventory game, so that's not going to happen either. Apparently, Siri, Siri's best time in space, but not stairs. Stairs is a little too tough for her. Shuga's gonna be a real pain in the butt to fight on the stairs. We have to get around him. One attack, and then you have to jump around him. Okay, that's not so bad. We slaughtered everyone here. That's what happened. Tell you true. Doo doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. No, I don't think so. Not today. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. And because he apparently delights in just torturing people to death for his fun. Siri can handle herself, and she hopefully got out of here correctly. Oh wow, and a whole day went by. It's now 2.19 a.m. again. That was a long story, I suppose. I think it has to do with the transitions from place to place. It must have been about 2 o'clock-ish when we found him in the afternoon, and then we had a 12-hour jump. That doesn't matter, though. We can just rest. So, okay. Wow. Oh, and there's still some more hostiles here. Uh, they can live. I don't... I don't need their swords or apples or sandwiches. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. 
Follow me. Oh, we just agreed to that. All right, then. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. So that'd be a no. Probably taken by force. I would imagine then. It's a nice boat, though. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philip is using magic. He'd be better off sending mages after her. I agreed to the Conclave's revival. But what has this brought me? The mages at my side are mediocrities. Cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Eilhart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's always your witch hunters. You are the best witch hunter. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Eilhart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Well, we're going to need our weapons to start. And did we level by now? I think maybe we did. I guess we'll find out in a few seconds. Talk to the witch hunters in front of Luffy's hideouts. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. I was about to say, I'm still on the boat, but I guess it's up for me outside of it. I guess I can talk with this guy to get back onto the boat if I want to talk to whatchamacallit. Alright, we're. Looks like we're near a shop for weapons and armor, so we'll take care of this really quick and then. And then I guess we'll call the session. We've actually made some more progress. Did we level, by the way? Did we level? No, we're still not quite level. This wasn't this. Uh, the armory's right up ahead, though, Tim. We can, we can do this really quick. Assuming he's in there, which I think he will be. Seems that medic's running oh, what was a game? Uh, Daggerfall was a game which shops actually had hours. But you could you could cheat. If you, if you went into a shop early, you could just rest in the shop until dawn happened. Like, uh, not until dawn, until midnight or like 2 o'clock in the morning. And then you could just rob the shop of every single thing it had, and then sell it back to the merchant when you show back up later. It's pretty hilarious, all the bugs and what, how you could cheat the game. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Show me what you have in stock. Okay. We want to repair... And then we will just vendor all these other weapons, not the Griffin Sword. Oh right, once I hit 17, I think I can make better armor. And is he selling anything? I don't think he's selling anything I'm really interested in. The Assassin's Trousers are 400... I'm already wearing Assassin's Travelers, the one that I'm wearing are level... are level 10. No, we're almost leveled up. I can wear these pants a little bit longer. How's our boots? 
our boots are fine. The Medanian Halberder's armor looks nice. We gain a bunch of resistances. No, I'm sorry. That's that's what we're that's what we're wearing currently. No, what we have is better. Okay, what we have is fine. Can we craft something though? We're already wearing those boots. We could craft this Kuros instead. It's only 184, and we have the supplies for it. Sure. are better. So, oh, but I don't like the mittens. Nah, just, just them will work. We only know how to make the enhanced griffin trousers also interesting. So we'll be able to make this two levels from now. We don't have the enhanced griffin gloves. We only have griffin gauntlets, not the enhanced. Alright, we'll have to figure out where to find them. Um... Let's so long. let's play another game of Gwent, and then we'll and then we'll call it the session. So really quick, let's do this, and we might as well put a s sign in it. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me? An interesting one. Let's play cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. And we go back and tell Priscilla about Doodoo. But first, it's very important that we play more... more Northern Realms. Alright, let's do it. We have defense against rage. Oh, nice. We have quite a few powerful gold cards with us this time, too. Let's trade out a... Oh! Maybe I shouldn't... Let's trade out the a Blue Stripes. For Biting Frost. I think... Uh, to me, don't have any siege at all in this deck right now. We'll tr we'll just try this. I could I could drop a commander's horn. A decoy. I'm fine with this. We'll try to get him to go first, as it were. So that's right, to use more cards. Ugh. Another, whatchamacallit here. Oh, really? He's just gonna throw it, throw me the game like that, huh? We'll play a siege engine then. And we'll get to draw a card. one of our smoke. Oh, do I want to do that, Tim? No, use another PFI. Let's 
Yeah, he's gonna take back Stennis to give himself some more points. Start some more cards. I'm fine with that. Let him keep using cards for a bit. I can always deploy this Fighting Frost to greatly reduce the strength of these guys. He'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 total points if I was to do so. still okay with this. We'll play a Petal Frog. It still works for me. We, I just need to delay a tiny bit longer. Because I want to know if he has a clear weather in his hand. This will still be tricky to get through all of this, though, but I think we'll be okay. Cards are immune to weather effects, if I recall correctly. I really just want him to use... I want him to use all the cards he's got in his hand. All of them. Yes, they are immune to weather effects. Could pass our turn now. He'd have only two cards left to play. But no, I'm gonna let I'm gonna run him out. Oh don't play another weather though, Tim. Unfortunately, that will recover. Actually, no, it won't recover because he's got no uh, clear weather. Maybe. Ah, he has another recovery there. He's passed. Let's play our Biting Frost now. And we win, just like that. I was worried he had a clear weather in his hand, but thankfully he did not. Philippa yeah, Earhart, the girl we're actually looking for. All right then, well let's get her added to the Gwent deck. Now we take out a different card from this deck. So Kira Metz can come out. Because Felipa does everything she does, but better. And she is just a Northern Realms card. Interesting. <laughs> <coughs> Hi everyone, well that'll do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. So we found Junior, killed him. Discovered that um, now Radovid wants us to find Miss Felipa Earhart. We have to talk back with Roach again. We need to play Roach and Gwent. We need to talk with Triss back in Novigrad. So there's lots of stuff for us. There's lots of miscellaneous stuff for us to do. And we'll get started with all that in the next episode. In the meantime, thank you guys all for watching again. You all have a good day, and I will talk to everyone later. Take care, everyone. Choked to death on three pounds of steam. <laughs>